I'm Lindsay Coffey. I'm Michaela Rubinstein. I am Roxy Baines. And this is my climate story. Climate story. And this is my climate story. A climate story is a personal experience you have connecting yourself to our climate. Everyone on this planet has a climate story. It's about taking the time to reflect on your experience within nature to write your own. I'm Lindsay Coffey, and this is my climate story. In 2018, I was living in Cape Town, South Africa during the water shortage that made history. The news of this crisis created international headlines telling the world that Cape Town was running out of fresh water. My day-to-day -day life was filled with stress, worry, and fear as I watched citizens line in the streets filling buckets to take home to their families. Most homes were completely cut off from running water, and the few that had a supply were rationed. I was fortunate to have water run through my apartment. However, we could not flush our toilets, wash our clothes, and showers were limited to 60 seconds. While we were showering, we had buckets to catch the excess water and with that water, we washed our clothes, flushed our toilets, and used the rest sparingly. The way I lived my life completely changed. I was in a constant state of fight or flight. Stores were completely sold out of bottled water, and other countries came to our aid shipping as much water as they could. The media then coined the phrase, Day Zero, which became the day that Cape Town would officially run out of fresh water. I never felt so helpless in my life. I couldn't do anything to fix the problem. To be honest, I wanted to flee back home to America where I wouldn't have to face what was happening. But running was only a short-term solution and delayed the inevitable. Cape Town was one of the first countries to run out of water, but I knew it would not be the last. I stayed, I endured, and I celebrated with the country when we did not reach day zero. That was the day the climate crisis became my reality, and that was the day I decided to do something about it. The worldwide water crisis poses the most immediate risk as it threatens humanity and regional stability. Today, countries still face water scarcity where their quality of life is drastically diminished and their lives alone are significantly threatened. The life cycle is based off of water. No water means no life. Together, we can speak up for those struggling and protect the future of all life on this planet. I'm Michaela Rubinstein and this is my climate story. When I was younger, my family and I would often travel to southern France, where we would live on a mountaintop. The people who lived on the mountain were mostly farmers who lived a simple life and were predominantly self-sustained. Because of global warming, there had been more and more droughts in the summertime, damaging the crops, making it hard for the farmers to survive. One summer I was there, a huge wildfire suddenly began on the mountain next to ours. Because of the drought, the wildfire spread insanely fast. I remember people fleeing their homes with what little they could carry. One man was riding his donkey, others were by foot or by bicycle. I remember seeing helicopters coming in and pouring water onto the mountain. Many like us just stood by and watched, because what could we do? We were all praying that the fire wouldn't catch on to our mountaintop. We were in a constant fight or flight mode, not knowing whether to stay or to leave. Many of the locals had nowhere to go. Their entire lives and livelihood were on this mountaintop. I will never forget that feeling of helplessness, not being able to do anything but watch as the flames spread. Luckily, the firefighters succeeded in putting out the fire before it reached our and other mountains, but the damage was severe. Unfortunately, droughts are more and more common due to global warming. And as a result, we see an increase in wildfires around the world. We all know the negative effects of deforestation. It impacts our biodiversity and causes a large amount of carbon to be released into the atmosphere when the trees are no longer able to absorb the carbon dioxide. What many people don't know is that deforestation has a huge impact on the worsening droughts as well. All of the factors threatening the forest can feed on themselves. As the forest is cleared, 
the rain decreases at a faster rate, leading to longer droughts and higher temperatures. The longer droughts will lead to longer and hotter fires, which will clear more forest, thus speeding up the process. At the same time, clearing the forest increases the contribution of CO2 into the atmosphere, speeding up climate change. I am Roxy Bayans, and this is my climate story. I live in the Philippines, and it's one of the countries that are most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. It is where some of the largest and strongest typhoons occurred in the world, such as Typhoon Haiyan or Yolanda. A lot of us can't imagine is already happening to so many families, and the saddest part is, in the Philippines, it now became a norm somehow, to the extent that we are already expecting typhoons to occur. I'm one of those lucky enough to live in the mountainous area of the Philippines, but you'll be surprised that at times it rains every day for months and we have experienced flood too, despite being in a mountain. That's how bad it is. And we just actually had a recent one a few days ago called Typhoon Odette. It wiped out so many homes and took so many lives. That's going to be the holidays here. If this is the case now, I don't know what could happen to the future if we don't choose to make reliable solutions globally. We should protect our planet because in no time there's a huge possibility that Earth will no longer be habitable for the next generations. That is, if we do not make actions now. We're in the same boat. Let's choose to save each other. I have hope in humanity, so please protect the people who are most vulnerable to environmental destruction and climate change right now. That's of course why of saving yourself and their future children. Make an impact from home by supporting your local and state politicians who have a pro-environment agenda. By being aware of the effects of climate change around the world. We have two choices. We can either change our actions to prevent the foreseeable future, or prepare to brace ourselves for the catastrophe to come. Our answer has a deadline.